Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Far on YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Well, boys, this uh, really wasn't a video I was super stoked about putting out, but I'll let it be a lesson to everybody. I don't normally cuss on the channel, but what happened in today's video, quite frankly, made me feel like a big piece of shit. And that certainly is something that happens every time uh, you're in a wreck or you do something really stupid. And in today's video, <clears throat> I did that, both of those things. And I'm gonna let the video play out because the beginning was super, super fun. And then the ending, you know, obviously you saw a title and thumbnail, not so super fun. So enjoy the video guys. I'll talk to you in a minute. What's up, dude? We're out here at the firm, man. Yeah, Wanna man. Do some rally. <laughs> yeah, guys, we got the side-by-sides out and uh, we got JH's X3, my X3 over there. Got some Pro XP. YXZ, Razor TS, dude, we got a whole bunch of units, man. Yeah, good good group of dudes. Uh, awesome conditions. It's like nice and chilly, which doesn't happen in Florida too often. I know. So, guys, we're out here at the firm. You guys have seen us up here ripping before. Uh, usually some live action, you know. This place has a ton of crazy territory. Not only their track, they have a skid pad, and then they have an entire rally course, which I've never been on. Besides, I think I kind of went into the edge of it in a Crown Vic one time, which didn't give me the full experience. So we're out here with Side by Sides today. Scott Thrower, Ryan Webb. Okay. Uh, Massive, wherever he's at with his Hawaiian shirt on. There he is, there. yep. Uh, <laughs> Justin, we got a solid crew of guys. Um, yep, Coop Spence. So, well, we're gonna they're rip not it. that solid. <laughs> <laughs> Tough they break. Didn't bring, they didn't bring buggies. You, know? you guys look like tourists with those sweatshirts, man. Hey, dude, I just picked this up as a pilot. I you got that? Dude, you're looking good. So. The units are ready to go. We're gonna freaking just have a blast today. Justin, you're going down, buddy. Dude, I'm coming. Hey, you hey, know that red? this is, I'm not going down today. I'm coming off a big double W. Red? Yeah. Coming off a big w. w. You know, I'm gonna keep, take that into the, today. It's and, a uh, W DNF. It has to go all together. It's a W, dude. W DNF. With downplaying my win. Dude, everyone got DQ'd but you. Cause I was the only one left. It's not my fault you guys didn't know how to make your cars. Ah. It was an endurance race. It was your fault. He was just the last Seven person lap to endurance not finish. He right, was last just the last person to not finish. That's all that was. was. I, was gonna, I could have done the other seven laps. You guys, maybe... You going, so you going first in the Razor? Oh, Why not? Hell oh, yeah, dude. This, this, this thing is serious. Oh, hey, little game. I don't know what it's and that's that's that. one after. Nice and low. All right, so we're doing a stopped start right here at the cone. And then the finish line is once you complete a lap, come back around the corner and pass that little white thing. So should be pretty good trail you. I think it's to get the torque up. Yeah. We don't have that problem. No, we we have all the torque. Can are where it's at. Oh, for sure. Okay. Ronnie Renner pulling up. I hear some 
ripping now. 20 seconds into the club. <laughs> <laughs> Start of the day. Yeah. RPM. Okay. And it's got a tramp stamp too. Get gapped. Yeah, I like the tramp stamp. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> okay. Dude, I'm, I don't know what to do. Starting four, starting two. Maybe I just switch on the fly. I had to one one time out there. We did this too. I said, screw this, put it back in the four. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure if I rode it and got used to it, I just went from four to two and it was just your tires are not really cut yeah, out. Yeah, my tires. Driving. They're, they're great tires. <laughs> they're really you, good. They don't you call you Jage. <laughs> Ever since drive I Jage bald tire for nothing. So. Jage bald tire. How much time are we at so far? Minute five. five. Wow. It's a long course. It adds up. So he's got to make it to the white thing. Ronnie's back. It's been a few minutes. Oh. <laughs> What's our time on that? That was fast. 345. Oh, Three two. minutes and 45 seconds. Let me get a shot of it. It's a little dusty. Oh, yeah, it'll see it. There you go. You went at 345. It's I pretty got damn all good. Up in that bush. It's all all nice out. And tight like. Yeah. yeah. Timer is set. You're good. You oh, like wait, wait, wait. Good. Yeah. Oh, he nailed it. Florida. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jay, H is off. He's ripping, dude. My boy's natural boy and sender. Oh my, he is. I can't see him. Where's he at? <laughs> he was trying his absolute hardest. 338. 338. What was I? Let me get a shot of that. I told you I thought he'd get it. 338. He was. He was Dude, there's no way I'm going to catch him. He, he just sends that machine so hard. 338. 338. Yeah, dude. JH dominating force in the off-road hey, industry. We almost, we almost lost it. Really? Bro, two wheels. All right. For massive limiter, you got to launch on the limiter. The YXZs, dude, they're so awesome. <laughs> dude, they just those things sound so fun. Pretty legit. Does it sound like it's doing 300? He might be. Forty-nine. Oh, 
You were 348, I think. Uh, you were right. Hold on, I got the picture. Screenshots. Yeah. You were 349.14. <laughs> can I get the can I get the 349? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Shrubnel. <laughs> All right, Spence, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> My guys. There you go, Coop. Yeah. Dude, come on. You gotta at least be JH. He, he's got a big head. I know, dude. He's bigger than normal. Thing is, don't want to wreck Hold on. Machine. If you be J. So guys, obviously we're out here competing. I live for competition. You guys know I'm super competitive. Well when you drive hard and you know you rip and it, it makes you mentally feel like you're just you know like you're freaking ken block or dale or her. like when you're out ripping and, and you're in the zone it is the best feeling and you just think that you can do anything and that's that happens all the time and we do it all the time you know we're constantly driving cars in a dangerous manner and side by sides and what happened to me is i way too aggressively flick into this corner, which you're about to see shortly. Something I would never ever do on a surface that had uh, good traction. Well, I thought the limestone we were on, I could super aggressively crank the wheel under D cell, flip the back end around, kind of backwards entry and pull away, you know? Because you know, you gotta one up your buddies, you know, especially when you're racing. And I screwed up. And you go from feeling like you know, the best driver in the world to uh, feeling like a complete idiot and someone who ruined all the fun. And it's like reality reaches out of thin air and slaps you in the face and says, just so you know, you're just like everyone else and you screwed up. And that's exactly what happened. So I'll roll the clip. You guys can see what happened. Well, boys, That's a the week of destruction continues, dude. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe it rolled like that. It just bit and rolled. This is like a yeah. war stick now. Oh! <laughs> Everybody comment, James Tall, get your toolbox. It looks like the, it looks like the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at the mark the bumper made. Oh shit. You just had to go harder than Justin. You couldn't resist. Four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. I, I did two wheel drive the whole day. How's the how's let's get a machine overview. So take her take a walk around. Pop the tail light out. So we scratched the cage up, ripped the light off. But uh this'll buff. That'll buff. Uh, that's that'll buff. I've seen worse. Drive it. Seen worse. <laughs> so let's try and get this ball joint back in. Probably look a lot better after that. I thought I was just gonna hold her wide open through the corner. Like he did in the razor. She just dug. Yeah. Too much. Too high center of gravity. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the cage is a little tweaked on that one. It looks okay. It looks good. I'm saying cage looks. Dude, that light bar came out like a spear at the end. Brick City Fab with the cage just holding tight, dude. That is awesome. Honestly, the worst possible thing I could have rolled on. Grass is a lot more forgiving. Dude, look at the green on the... Yeah, look at it all over here. Oh, damn, it, man. <laughs> all right, boys, she's driving back, all right. Just going slow to keep the ball joint in, but no bump, pal. No bump. She drives dead straight. I think structurally we're good. Just need some plastic. I felt super crappy about messing up the unit, obviously. And I, you know, I felt bad for having Spence ride with me and have to go through a wreck. Luckily, he doesn't care. But I spent the entire night awake thinking about why I freaking cranked the wheel so hard and you know tried to flick the machine so hard and it's just so many things go through your head about why you should have done things differently and I lost a whole night of sleep over it 
And then you wake up the next day and as time elapses, you feel better about things that you do. That's kind of how it always works. <laughs> and it's the fact, the fact of the matter is, you know, say Spencer broke his wrist or broke his hand or worse, you know, or even I broke my hand. And it's like, who cares about the machine? It is replaceable. You know what I mean? It's, it's replaceable. We have insurance on these things. Even though it does, like the the plastics are scratched, the cage is scratched. Who cares? Why lose sleep over something? Both Spence and I were okay. Why why was I losing sleep over it? And it, it was such a wake up. I mean, literally, I because I kept waking up that it's just sometimes you can get so caught up in these machines, and you know, obviously we all love them to death, but damn, I was way too caught up on this one. I'll I'll be totally honest. So it was a. Uh, it was one of those things that you you learn every time something like this happens, anytime a crash or radical experience goes down, whether it's one of your friends or you, you can learn from it. And I think everyone can learn from it. I can guarantee you that every guy in that video, Ronnie, JH, you know, the other guys on side by side, they've all wrecked, you know, but I'm putting it out here for you guys to understand that if something like this happens to you, and everyone's okay, like just take that as a blessing and don't freaking worry about the other stuff. You know, you can fix your machines over time and you can, you know, you can go back to work and you can go hang out with your family. And that's easily the most important thing to, to take home with you at the end of the day. So not stoked about the machine, but I am stoked that my boy Spence is all right and that I made it out cleanly. And I'm sure my mom's gonna see this video and call me and say, what the hell? But you know, we all made it out okay. It's all good guys. And I wanted to share this video with you, but here's the ending so you can see the damage, see the machine and finish off the day. All right, folks, here she is cleaned up. Uh, we got, we give you a quick damage report, walk around, scratch this up, somehow did not get the uh, shock tower, which is good. So you scratch that and then this fascia is all one piece look that up that's 46 bucks without the grill pieces which the grill pieces are fine had to get a bumper which is like this whole piece right here that was uh that was about 150 bucks and then um these these things are actually good i have the other one i just have to like plastic weld it back together this i'm just gonna sandpaper down so it's a little bit smoother but otherwise that'll straighten out the whole front of it, it just looks a little cockeyed because the bumper is bent in but the frame everything's good in the front the light bar mounts are ripped off so i took the light bar off and we gotta put the light bar back on rewire it up because rip the wires and then you've got the door and the cage over here so nicked up the door pretty bad but this door panel was actually screwed up from when i first tipped this thing over i did get into the fender finally and right here that lime rock was pretty unforgiving i don't think i'm gonna pull the cage i think i'm just gonna leave it put a sticker over it add some character after all dude these things get used and they get ran super super hard so a couple uh scratches never hurt it is what it is boys so definitely gotta roll with the punches when you uh do extreme sports like this you know just ripping these things constantly Harder and harder and harder. I feel like an idiot for what I did today though because it was just such a stupid crash. Like I just turned in so hard and then got off the throttle. Just makes no sense. Like that's what I would do if I wanted to drive on two wheels and I drove on two wheels. So super stupid, but uh, it is what it is. So we'll get the X3 fixed back up. That's it for now. Thanks for watching Do For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.